Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're here for another episode from Network From Home. Today, we're talking all about modem Ethernet ports. The confusing thing when it comes to modems and Ethernet ports is the fact that depending upon the type of modem device you have, you'll have different Ethernet ports or different numbers of Ethernet ports on your device. So as a bit of a spoiler, in today's episode, we're going to talk about how a standalone modem only has one Ethernet port and a modem router combo device has four Ethernet ports. We're going to talk about why these devices have different numbers of Ethernet ports and what you can expect to get out of these Ethernet ports in your home network. So let's get started. All right. As we dive in here, the first modem type that we're going to talk about is a standalone modem. This is actually the type of modem I have in my home network. And all this means is that my modem and my router are separate devices. As you can see, please hold, dramatic, dramatic effect as I break my router. Here is my router. Here is my modem. They are two separate devices. Therefore, this is called a standalone modem. This is called a standalone router. Okay, so let's dive into this. As I mentioned in the intro, a standalone modem will have one Ethernet port. Here it is, you can probably see it says Ethernet right there. And there's only one Ethernet port. And you might be asking, why does it only have one Ethernet port? That's because there's only one purpose for the Ethernet port on a standalone modem, and that is to connect it to your standalone router. So going back to the standalone router here, there's a specific Ethernet port on the router itself, which is called a WAN port. But the bottom line is, we're talking about modems here. This standalone modem Ethernet port is used to connect this device, this modem, to your router. So there'll be an Ethernet cable that connects this WAN port to the only Ethernet port on your standalone modem. It's very important that you don't connect any other devices directly to your modem. This is actually a huge security concern, so Please don't even think about it at this point. Just think the ethernet port on my modem is used to connect to my router. So that way the internet connection that's established by your modem can be passed to your standalone router, which can then pass that internet connection to your devices. That covers the standalone modem. Now let's talk about a modem router combo device. The next modem type on the docket here is a modem router combination device. So what is exactly does this mean? In my network, I have a standalone modem, a standalone router. A modem router combo device, as you can guess, is taking these two devices and combining them into one device. As I mentioned in the introduction, a modem router combo device will have four Ethernet ports. I'm sure you're wondering why this is. So let's walk through it. And it's actually pretty easy to do it with the two devices that I have. Hopefully this makes a lot more sense to you. So a modem router combination device is a combination between a modem and a, com and a combination with a router. So basically, We'll take the Ethernet ports from both devices and add them to the modem router combo device, right? Well, it's a little more complicated than that. As you saw with the standalone modem and router, the one Ethernet port on my modem was used to connect to this WAN Ethernet port on my standalone router. But if your standalone modem and standalone router are already connected to each other, 
as a modem router combination device, we don't need to connect these two devices with an ethernet cable. They're already connected. So basically, take this ethernet cable out, or ether, take this ethernet port off the device, take this ethernet port off the device. What does that leave us with? Four ethernet ports. And those four ethernet ports come from the fact that routers in general, in most cases, will have four ethernet ports. So that's all it is. In a modem router combination device, the only ethernet ports you need are for the router portion of the device. So these four ethernet ports on a router, they're used to allow you to connect devices directly to your router with ethernet ports. This provides them with wired internet connections. That's all we need at this point. We don't need this ethernet port here and this ethernet port here because the devices are already connected. All right, so that covers our two modem device types. Our standalone modem, which will have one ethernet port, our modem router combination device, which will have four ethernet ports. If you have any questions about this information or if any of this was unclear to you, first, I would suggest you go check the blog post that I will link to below. I've written an associated blog post on this topic. It dives into a little bit more depth that gives you some pictures, including some pictures directly of a modem router combo device. So that might be useful. If you still have questions after checking out that blog post, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. As always, thanks for dialing into this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.